but this is the Megascan to USD builder. So you have here the directory where your Megascan lives. Here is the output where you want to save all your USD files. There are some optional settings for import and export. If you don't know what they mean, just leave them at default, they'll be fine. And then here you can batch convert all the files. So now it will build all the Solaris nodes. You'll see it will build all the variants. Uh, and inside every variant, there's a, a render version and a proxy version. Check it out. So this is the proxy version, but as soon as you do the XPU render, you see it's all nicer. It's a high, higher resolution uh, object if you compare it to the, you see. And to show that the variants are there, uh, explode, add an explode variant put it to explode 0 0.2 here you are and if you render that again you'll see that uh, it's the high resolution object another thing you noticed there were preview images here uh, that's a bug in um, in Houdini so that's why I have this preview images so it refreshes all the images so if you go out and back in you see they disappear that's just a bug in Houdini and then here you have save all uh, USD files because now it just copied all the textures and the preview files in a map. And here, if you save all USD files, it will build all the USD files. Once that is done, you can go, for example, here, the USD files, and then it makes all the USD files that you need and as well the variants in the separate map. That's it. Bye bye.